my God, why have you forsaken me? The dear son that you gave me, Lord, who was foretold to me by angels, who was conceived miraculously inside me by your spirit, who I carried in my womb and in my arms, and for whose birth I broke my body and shed my blood. Today his body was broken and his blood was shed. Today I held him in my arms again, not as a child, but as a corpse. And today I will lay him not in a manger, but in a tomb. So I'll ask again a question I heard my son ask moments ago. My God, why have you forsaken me? How is this the end of my son, Jesus, my miracle? I felt my cousin's baby leap in her womb when my son came near. I, I smelled the incense brought to him by wise men who followed stars across the world just to meet him. I've been filled with panic after leaving him at the temple as a boy just to find him days later astonishing scholars with his teaching. <laughs> the most beautiful words, kind words that I've ever heard have been his. Like just moments ago, when he was suffering, he thought of me and cared for me. He asked his beloved disciple John to be my son, to look after me when he was gone. I have tasted wine that was once water. And now I've seen wine pour from his side as he hung lifelessly on a cross. My God, why have you forsaken me? The prophet Isaiah said, your thoughts are not my thoughts and your ways are not my ways, but Today, these words bring me no comfort. Today, I wish your ways were my ways. Lord, I do not understand. I cannot believe that this is the end of Jesus. My son. My son. My my son. Your son. He's your son. Son of God. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, all generations shall call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength in his arms. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. 
He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he told to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his offspring forever. <laughs> 